Spoon is here to tell you all about op amps. Now what's an op amp? Why this is an op amp. It has a inverting input, a non-inverting input, and an output. Now what makes them special? What makes an op amp special? Well, it's these two rules here. Zero input offset voltage. That means that these two nodes, these two terminals, both have the same voltage, no matter what. They're always the same. There's zero difference in voltage between them. And the zero input current, that just means that there's no current that flows in or out of these nodes. Kind of unique for two terminals to have both these properties. Okay, so this op amp right here, I've drawn it inside of an inverting amplifier circuit. So just to explore what an op amp does, we can, we can analyze this circuit. We could find the transfer function, for instance. Yeah, the transfer function. So let's look at, let's, let's start with VN, because we need to find VN and V out to find the transfer function. For VN, well, that hooks right into our non-inverting input. So that means VN equals V plus. Now, what do, what do we know about the voltages here? Well, V plus equals V minus. That's uh, this rule here. So we can write that as well. We could also describe V minus in terms of R1 as I1 R1. So there's, a, there's an equation for us. We have an equation that describes Vn. It's equal to I1 R1. Now let's look at V out. What's V out equal to? Well, it goes into the output. I don't want to touch that. That looks messy. I don't really know how to analyze the output on its own. Really, to do it right, you got to analyze the rest of the circuit before you can figure out what's going on with the output. So let's go and go through R2. Where does R2 go? Oh, it goes through R1 and we're at ground. That looks like a good path to analyze. So our V out is equal to I1. R1, that's the voltage across um, resistor 1, and I2, R2, that's the voltage across resistor 2. So the sum of those voltages, that should be V out. So one thing that we know is that our I plus and our I minus are both equal to zero. In this case, I minus equals zero, that's an important thing. Because that tells us that if we if we analyze this node, the, the current coming in from R1 and the current going out through R2, they're the same because there's no current flowing through this input terminal. So we could say I1 equals I2, and we could just make all the currents the same then. So we could just call them all I. So we can get rid of these uh, little subscripts here. And we're left with Vn equals IR1 and V out equals IR1 plus IR2. Now, a transfer function for this would be V out over Vn. And we could just plug in these equations. So V out is IR1 plus I. R2 over our Vn, which is I R1. Now looky there. There's a there's an I in every single term on both the top and the bottom, which means that they all cancel out. So we can get rid of all the I's. There we go. So that, that's our transfer function. Now, if we wanted to pick a gain, pick some sort of level that this, uh, this amplifier is going to amplify. So, you know, two times the voltage. Well, we would just make sure that R1 plus R2 over R1 is equal to two. And that would tell us, that, that, would, 
that would dictate that our output is going to be two times our input. So, pretty simple. Now, this is used in a lot of, uh, a lot of applications. Mainly, um, in audio, it's used to amplify um, your music or whatever you're listening to. Um, this type of circuit is really common for, like, headphone amplifiers. So if you want to amplify your uh, signal to go through some, like, high impedance headphones or something, some, like, studio fancy headphones, you'll, you'll probably be using this circuit. And if you're not, you probably don't really need to be watching this video because you're probably really smart. <laughs> so, anyways, um... In a future video, I'm going to talk about the uh, Chu Moi amplifier, I think it's called. Um, also called uh, the C Moi amplifier, if you've heard of it. It's a simple amplifier circuit that you can build. Um, it's a very like DIY friendly design and it's the plans are free online. So I'm just going to talk about how it works and I'm going to use the information from this video in my previous uh, electronic slash circuits videos that I've done to explain how it works. So be sure and subscribe to stay up to date with all my videos. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you'd like to reach out and uh, connect with me socially, I can be found at at SpoonlessCorey on Twitter. My blog is cheesed-off.com. And if you like this video and you want to see more, I encourage you to subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comments down below. And uh, if you like the video, click like. That's it. Hey, have a good one.